on, Queen of Sheba. Let's go. What's up? <laughs> we are back on a big camera. Oh my gosh, guys. It feels so good to hold this thing back in my hands. So obviously, it's not the one that was stolen. It's a replacement, but this is amazing. I can finally do the videos that I want, and let's just get right into it. So you guys see it right there. We've got the yak, and I showed you that little clip in the beginning, man. This is gonna be so freaking amazing. All right, so we've been fishing out of the Bonafide SS-127 for a little over a year now, and I absolutely love this kayak. You know, we've caught some pretty big fish on camera as well as off camera. And guys, I do not have a lot of bad things to say about this particular kayak. I wouldn't really call this a complaint, but one of the things that has been on my mind is, you know, especially this last trip that I went out to in the glades, you know, I was fishing around a couple other boats and they were catching fish left and right around me. And guys, I know I was in the fish. I just caught like a 6.8 pounder and the bite pretty much died for me. But the one thing that really killed it for me was I wasn't able to cover the water that I wanted to. These boats that were fishing around me, they were covering a lot of water. They had trolling motors. They were like, you know, 10 and 12 foot John boats and they were just catching them. I went through like a 30 minute span where this boat that was about 50 yards away from me and it was just cruising along this open patch where there wasn't hydrilla and it can use its trolling motor, they caught 10 fish to my one 6.8. Now, that 6.8 was definitely worth it. I don't know if they caught a fish anywhere near that size. I think they did because there was a lot of hooting and hollering going on, but that made me realize that I have got to put some propulsion on here. I've got to get a trolling motor on here and be able to cover more water. You know, it'll still be great. I'll have that versatility where I can tilt the trolling motor up and get into some really skinny water spots that those John boats can't get into. But for the most part, be able to cover more water, catch more fish, at least that's the plan. Now, there's some companies out there that make trolling motor setups for kayaks that come with everything you need. The trolling motor comes with a special mount. Some even work with a power pole micro and you can put a trolling motor in the back behind the power pole and have steering with your foot pedals. And there's just a lot of options out there that are already built for you, but those can cost a few thousand dollars. And unfortunately, that's just not in my budget. I wanna try and be able to get this accomplished for under $400. I think that's what I'm shooting for. And I know I'm already ahead of the game because I was already able to find a trolling motor and also a battery on OfferUp. It was an amazing deal. Basically, I saved about $100 and this stuff was brand new, like right, it still was inside the box and everything. The person just never got around to using it. It was just sitting in their garage. So I really got a great, great deal. Let me show you what I got. I ended up getting a Minn Kota Endura Max 50 pound thrust. Now, obviously this is a transom mounted trolling motor. So we're gonna have to build a bracket on the front or the back or somewhere here off to the side. We're gonna have to come up with something to mount this. But this is the 36 inch shaft, 12 volt. And this even came with a battery, brand spanking new. So. I got a great deal. It was only $225 for everything, including a battery charger as well. I forgot to mention that. So I think I got a steal for this and it's brand new. It was never taken out of the package. So the big question is where am I going to mount this thing? So I've already got the power pole micro mounted in the back. So that's not going to happen. The front, I could probably come up with something to mount this in the front here, but then what I would have to do is I would have to rig up something. I'd have to rig up cables to the foot pedals and I don't really want to do that. I want to keep this a very simple install that I can take on and off very, very quickly. So I started looking around and I've seen a lot of canoe and kayak mounts that actually span the width of the gunnels of the vessel. And basically it's like a, it's like a beam and then the trolling motor hangs out to the side basically where I'm sitting right now. And uh, you can basically just control it with the hand controls and it bolts on pretty, pretty simply. And a lot of them utilize the existing uh, track mounts that are already in the vessel. So I think that's what I'm gonna try and replicate here. Um, again, I'm trying to do this on a budget. So I'm gonna do it with probably two by fours unless I find a better material. And I'm gonna utilize these ex existing track mounts and hopefully we can get this done. I'm pretty confident. I should still be able to reach it from the seat of the kayak. And if not, if I just have to kind of scooch forward a little bit, it's really gonna be no sweat off my back. These are the track mounts right here that I would like to utilize on this side and also 
this side, my only concern is if I'm gonna have a piece of two by four or wood or something span across this distance here, it's going to limit the operation of the little semi dry boxes. <laughs> I don't call it a dry box because Bonafide doesn't, but anyways, this little storage compartment right here is going to be limited from opening. So that's really my only concern. But aside from that, I really don't think that's gonna bug me too much. If I can at least open it this much, I could still stick my hand in there and be good to go. So let's get to measuring. All right, so from outside to outside of each gear track is 25 inches exactly, but when I have to come out along the side of the boat as well, so just as a rough estimate, looks like I'm gonna need a total of probably three feet. And then just to play it safe, all right. All right, so now I need a piece of wood for this to clamp onto that I also attach to that beam. So with the knobs fully unscrewed, we're at three and a half inches. So I gotta be anywhere from, I'd say two and a half to three would be ideal. All right, so I have a pretty good idea of what size the pieces of wood need to be for this project. So all I have to do is just go to Lowe's and get some hardware, get the wood, see what they have available. I'm not sure exactly if I'm gonna use like two by fours or a combination of two by four and a three by six or something. I just gotta see. I've got it all in my head right here and I've got the measurements written down, so let's do it. And just like that, we're back. So what I ended up doing is I ended up getting an eight foot two by four. This is actually used for wall stud. And then I have over here some various pieces of hardware, nuts, bolts, washers to bolt it all together. Originally, I was kind of thinking maybe I could glue some of these pieces together, but no. Now, I'm not a lumber guy, but this was advertised as a two by four and it's really only an inch and a half thick. by about three and a half wide. I don't know, that just seems kind of fishy to me. It said two by four on the sign, but uh, it's not quite, just a little off. But it's actually gonna work out in my favor because the clamp on the trolling motor is only about three and a half inches wide or the max thickness you can use to actually clamp onto something. So works out in my favor. We'll be at about three inches because of what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna cut the two by four so it runs the length across both gunnels and I'm gonna I have some tapping plates some spare yak attack hardware that I'm gonna use so it sits in the tracks and I'll lock it down with bolts and it's gonna protrude out here a little bit and that's what the trolling motor is gonna clamp onto I'll double up on the 2x4 so what I'll end up doing is I'll cut two pieces of 2x4 stack them on top of each other so that'll be a total of three inches so I'll be under that three and a half inch mark that spans this gap right here, and we'll be good to go. This is a very, very DIY trolling motor mount, but I'm on a budget, and I think this is gonna hold up pretty well. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll bolt everything together, and then I'll test it out, but I'm not gonna treat or stain this until I know this works and it's a viable option to mount my trolling motor. Then once we get out in the water, we test it, and we know this baby works and she's not walking around all over the place, then I'll go ahead and I'll treat this and I'll probably do some type of epoxy paint or whatever just so it has a lot of protection from the water so this wood isn't gonna swell, rot, and it'll last as long as it possibly can. So now hopefully the idea is gonna to start to come together. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'll drill holes through here and I'm gonna mount bolts and then I've got track hardware that'll slide in here and then I can lock it down and that's gonna span the width here. So it'll be secured here as well as here. And this is the section that the trolling motor is going to clamp to. I'm gonna stack two more two by fours up here and that's what it'll clamp to. I'm basically gonna stack pieces of two by four on this section, I'll raise it up so it'll have a nice clamping surface and the trolling motor will basically just hang off to the side here and it'll provide me with propulsion. Oh, and before I forget, let's check the operation. Get that lined up. So if we look at the door, it definitely hits right there, but 
that's plenty. I can get, that's, yeah, that's gonna work out good. Take a look, see in there if we'll get any focus. That's essentially how we are going to attach the two by four to the kayak. So essentially I just got to drill one more hole and then do the same thing over here. We'll drill two holes, attach it to this track, and then we'll start stacking the pieces of two by four up here to clamp onto. And we're going to be pretty much done. And this looks really freaking ghetto. I'll definitely have to paint this thing gray for sure once uh, once I'm finished so it blends in a little bit better. If I can find like a little like a textured gray or something to match the uh, the gunship gray color of the Bonafide SS-127. But I'm liking it so far. We've got two bolts there, two bolts there, and I'm trying to lift this thing up and that's feeling really, really solid. So I'm happy with the way that's turning out and this should be just enough space to clamp that trolling motor on. And the shaft definitely is going to clear the hole. I'm happy about that. All right, so now we just have to stack some two by fours like this to give a really good clamping surface. And we're almost there, guys. So they might not exactly be the same length. Definitely not, but Hopefully you guys are starting to get a picture of how we are going to mount and hang the trolling motor off the side of the kayak. Basically what I have to do now is just bolt these two together like this and then bolt it to this two by four. I get, uh, you know, I keep going back and forth. Do I want to glue it on here? Do I want to use big band clamps? I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to do this on a budget so it doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to function. At least that's what I prefer. Anyways, I think we'll get it. I'll show you guys what I come up with in a minute. She is looking good. Not really guys, that thing is ugly. But it'll be a lot better once I, once I get this thing stained and, well not stained, but weatherproof and then once I paint it, as long as this actually works. If I take it out in the water and the thing flexes too much or it breaks off, obviously, we have gotta go back to the drawing board, but I think we're gonna be okay. Yep, we're looking like we are uh-oh. Oh boy. We got some rain clouds rolling in and it is actually, it's actually raining right now. That is not good guys. I was really hoping to get this thing out in the water. I might still try it. It's not too bad. If it doesn't start pouring, I'll definitely 
go grab the work truck and get the yak out on the water. But for now, let's at least throw on the trolling motor on the mount, make sure it clamps and it's nice and sturdy and just take it from there. Get her on. Oh, she fits. She fits. She seems like she's freaking rock solid. Look at that. This is gonna work out absolutely perfect. Well, not quite so perfect. Hang on. I'm liking it. Look at that. So when we get into super shallow water, I can just lock her up and we'll be just like a regular old kayak and then drop her down. Maybe a, a little more finesse there, guys. Perfect. She steers. She definitely steers. Hopefully I don't hit myself in the face. Looking good. All right, well, here's what the final-ish product looks like. So we've got her clamped on those two two by fours right here. Got plenty of clearance next to the hull, which I'm liking. And I th honestly, I'm really happy with the, uh, with the level of where the propeller's at. I mean, I might be able to bring it up a little bit, but that makes me pretty happy. I think I'll leave it right there and then adjust it if necessary. Then coming around to this side, again, just give you guys a better look of how I attach that to the track system right there. And then of course, we did the same on this side. Ugly as ever, but I really don't care guys. This is going to be very, very functional and it's gonna increase the capability of me fishing out of here tremendously. And then what I'll do for the battery, is just run the wires into the hole and just I'll dump the battery probably right there and then again the interference with the uh, dry box right here is that's minimal I can still get in there so I'm really really happy with that so again guys the whole purpose of building it that way is just to make things as simple as possible to cut down on the cost and then again with that 225 i got the motor i got a battery and a battery charger that are basically it's just it's all brand new 225 so that's i want to say roughly i saved almost 160 dollars maybe 180 total on the motor the battery and the charger so that's huge in my eyes especially because it's it's all new and then cost of the lumber and the hardware was like $23, so I definitely beat my $400 budget. I was way under, so I'm really, really happy with that. And again, it's not meant to look pretty, it's just meant to function. So I gotta get it out on the water and make sure it does that. And I know it was starting to rain, but I'm gonna grab the work truck anyways, and I've got a launch, I'm taking it. I don't care, I'm, I'm gonna brave the water. And uh, I don't know, maybe it'll cool me down, cause guys, I'm, I'm sweating balls right now. Sweating like a pig, so. <sighs> I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully it performs as well as I'm thinking it's going to. So I'm gonna throw you on the chest cam and let's hit the water. And there she is looking mint. It was bouncing on the way over here so I can't have that clamped when I'm driving around but let's get this baby in the water. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, I definitely, definitely feel the weight of the trolling motor. She's definitely heavy. Oh yeah, she's, holy cow, yeah, she's really, really leaning to one side. And thank God the Bonafide SS-127 is stable. All right, so with it, with the trolling motor in the water, it's definitely a lot easier. I'm gonna have to maybe get a uh, extension for the handle. All right, let's go. We have propulsion. Oh my gosh, you guys. We have propulsion. We don't exactly go straight now, do we? I guess that's to be expected when you have this thing mounted off to the side. All right, we're at max thrust.
Heard a big splash over here. It's a snakehead. Snake. Is it? Is, or is it a bass? It's a snakehead. And he came off. He wasn't that big. And I didn't get a good hook set on him either. Oh. That was awesome though. I heard a big blow up over there. That's why I don't normally like fishing hollow bodies for snakeheads. But lately they've wanted a slower presentation. So that's why I switched over to the hollow body. Oh well, see if we can get another one. Good sign though, we've, <laughs> we've been out here for five minutes. We got a fish, finally. <laughs> oh, and I'm happy it was a bass and not a snakehead. Awesome. Barely hooked, too. Had to freaking water ski this guy in. Whew. Nice little LMB, a little malnourished, way spawned out. So hopefully this guy will grow big and strong. See you later, dude. All right, so. I mean, obviously, as you can see, we're not going straight, guys. So I'm wasting a lot of energy. I mean, you know, we're going straight, but the trolling motor's pointed off that way, so a lot of juice is wasted. There's a lot of cavitation happening because it's not going straight like it's supposed to. So we've got a little bit, we got to figure some stuff out. But uh, overall, I mean, guys, check it out. We're just... We're trolling along. <laughs> so all in all, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, everything considered that, considering we're not going straight, but uh, it's gonna get the job done. And you know, maybe I'll mount it in the front or the back. I don't know. But for now, this is a DIY trolling motor mount for your kayak. Um, I hope it inspired you guys to maybe attempt this on your own because it really wasn't that hard and these transom mounted trolling motors been, you can pretty much mount them on anything so definitely give it a shot if you've got a kayak or a canoe just get out there and do it guys because uh, this was super easy and you can always reference this video and maybe come up with some ideas for yourself so I'm pretty much gonna pack it in it's getting pretty dark it's actually a lot darker than what you guys are seeing in the camera but uh, I'm pretty much gonna end it there guys I appreciate you guys watching I love you so much Make sure you guys get out there and find that inspiration. Go catch some big fish, guys. My name's Eric. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.